for the L G H I J K L M N O P T G T three Q or whatever y'all call it. Listen, listen closely. I'm gonna tell you something about yourself. Let, let me tell you something about yourself. You see, the Lord created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Okay, two bananas don't make no banana tree. Okay, and then two eggs don't make no chicken. All right, understand that. There's a female socket and a male adapter, and when brought together, things start to work. Oh, but y'all want to put two bananas together, and that's why you ain't got no electricity, and then you two just end up stuck in the dark looking crazy. Oh, oh, and another thing, it's, it's too late to act like you hard of hearing or something, because I seen that you done clicked on the link and got your antenna stuck in the video. You see, deep down inside your heart, you know that a woman ain't supposed to be the woman and a man ain't supposed to be with a man. You know that. You know that. You know good and doggone well that ain't how it's supposed to go. That's why you got him sitting down on a toilet, running around in a dress and all this other crazy nonsense. Trying to take a woman's place. Boy, I tell you, they creating doggone clones. These kids running around looking like Uncle Jay. May you be struck with blindness. Oh, oh. You know good and doggone well, you cannot change or recreate God's original plan for man and woman. That's called perversion. Woman was made for a man and a man for a woman. But what y'all try to do is take one broken wrist and a strong fist and put it together. Mm, mm, mm. That is called perversion. A man can never replace and be a woman and a woman can never replace and be an alpha male. Oh, oh, and another thing, you know good and well, you ain't got no business going up into that man's business doing the hokey pokey. Well, the rainbow ain't got nothing to do with no Skittles or no Fruity Pebbles. When the Lord created the rainbow, it's about a covenant between man and him that he would never, ever flood the earth again. Did, did you understand that? Oh, oh, because if you don't, you must be hard of hearing or something. Let's go to the word of God about this one. Let's see. Leviticus 18.22. And right here it says, You shall not lie with a man as with a woman. It is an abomination. That's Leviticus 18.22. This is a living, breathing. You can't argue with the word of God. Leviticus 20 and 13. And the word of God reads, If a man lies with a male as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. See, see, God still feels the same way about these things. The only difference is we're in a new covenant. And in this new covenant, we have a grace to bring us out of this. Understood? Then we got the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh, that was wartime. People were doing what was detestable in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord sent two angels to bust a cap in they. Dad, shh, chill out on the cussing, dog. How long you been sitting there, boy? So what? What's the word got to say? Let me tell you something. God still feels. The same way about it in the New Testament, except we have grace, which is not a license to sin. What grace is, is it is an empowerment to come up out of sin. Yes, for sin shall no longer have dominion over us, for we are no longer under the law, but under grace. That's Romans 6 and 14. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearers and the doers of this word. Grace will set you free if you let go of what the good Lord calls detestable. Hallelujah. He will, and I repeat, he will give you the strength and the power you need to break free. you got to trust him and give it all to him. This is where transparency is just so, so important. So that the Lord can do what he can do. And what he will do, be transparent, give it all to him in the mighty name of Jesus.
1 Corinthians 6 9 it says do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God do not be deceived neither fornicators nor idolaters nor adulterers nor homosexuals nor sodomites nor thieves nor covetous nor drunkards nor revilers nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God May the Lord add a blessing to the hearers and doers of this holy word. God bless you. Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy, Joe Cephas, with Golden Street Ministries. Man, right now, man, if you have not ever received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, man, I want to just present the opportunity and give you an opportunity to do that right now. Tomorrow's not promised. You might have stumbled across this video just for that time to receive him as your Lord and Savior. You don't know. You know when it's your time to go. The Word of God says in Romans 10, 9, says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So if you want to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior today, just repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my mind. I trust you today as my Lord and Savior. And I believe that you died on the cross and you were raised the third day by God, your Father. I repent of my ways. And I trust in you today as my Lord and Savior. If you just said that prayer, you've been saved. I want to encourage you to find a Bible based church. A church that is going to give you what is written in the word of God and they're not going to sway or go off their emotions because then that's when you get into legalism and emotionalism. But usually after you become born again, some point, some time, after you receive Jesus Christ, you will say you learn about legalism and emotionalism. So don't even worry, God will teach you. You will learn and be able to identify it as you grow. Anyways, my friend, hey, welcome to the family, man. Yo, here at Golden Street Ministries, we love you, man. God bless you. In Jesus' name.